No matter how seasoned a chef you are, there are always new ingredients and recipes to get fired up about. So what I'm going to do for you now is roast chicken with roasting juices with parsley. Very simple. And what we do is we make a paste. Oh my God. I reckon we do two. I'm not saying we'll use them all. But if we don't use them now, we'll use them in the juices later. Again, a little bit of olive oil. Just slowly mix it in. Oh my God. There's no rush. The first thing we do is season the inside of the bird. I'm not going to take the string off yet because it's holding the bird together. Because I'll take it off when it's finished cooking. So just get your hand in and season the inside of the cavity. Oh, look at the colour of that. And then, again, getting all the crevices. Just start to massage it into your chicken. What the fuck is that? Disgusting. And then my mother-in-law, who is my favourite cook, taught me to put thyme and lemon inside the chicken. And what it does actually, apart from flavour the chicken, it slows down the cooking of the chicken. Because when I was a boy, ducks, chickens were always stuffed. So therefore your chicken cooked from the outside in, not from the inside out. So it just slows it down. So then what we're going to do is olive oil in a pan, roast chicken, get some heat into the pan. So then when we put it into the oven, it's starting to cook straight away. And I reckon a chicken like this will take a, approximately an hour to cook with a good rest. This is a chicken from the supermarket. Free range, £7.36p. You get four portions the way I chop it up out of that. Which I suppose to have a roast chicken with the juices on the plate is nearly two quid a portion, which is not bad. As you can see now we're getting the heat into the chicken. Underneath it's starting to slowly caramelise and we'll use that sediment later for the sauce. Lemon wouldn't work with a pheasant. It wouldn't work with a guinea fowl. But there's nothing wrong in putting flavours in, like a bit of bay leaf, a bit of thyme. When I roast pheasants and partridges. So I'm cooking that chicken now, prox one hour, 180. When the chicken comes out of the oven, what I will do then is I'll put it in a bowl. I'll wrap it up in cling film. Because all that steam that comes off a chicken, all those delicious smells, they're juices. It's just the moisture within the bird just evaporating away. Everyone thinks, God, they don't realise they're losing the taste and the chicken is slowly drying out because it continues to cook because it's own heat. So I'll use those juices then in the gravy and that's how you retain a nice moist chicken. This is the best way, in my opinion, to cook a chicken at home. So the chicken's been in for one hour. I like to use a pan, but you can use a roasting tray. The reason why I like to use a pan is because it's got a thick, heavy bottom. You can see I've got all the juices down the bottom. So what I've got to do now is is take my chicken out and then I'm going to keep the chicken fat so we're just going to dissolve the roasting juices in water we'll put one cube in and then we'll finish the sauce with parsley and the chicken fat what in the fuck is going on to chop a chicken up for four there's our chicken so what do you think we've got Four pieces of breast and four pieces of leg, so it feeds four. And I'm quite happy just snapping bits of the chicken off, just to put some more flavour in. Tiny bit of water. What we've got to do now is take some parsley. And parsley and chicken works fantastically well. Throw some parsley in. And then just put some of the chicken fat back in. Just by water and a bit of stock cube, I've got plenty of sauce for my chicken. Again, I don't have to use gravy granules. After 25 years behind the stove, is that there's always something new to learn every day. New ingredients, new techniques. Very charming. Take out that amazing stuff. You still have that proper sense of cooking. And there's just the roast chicken with its own roasting juices.